First on Fox, police continue to look for the driver who ran over and killed a father of five as he went out to get Chinese food. And it happened at the intersection of Natural Bridge and Goodfellow in North St. Louis last night. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins is live at the crash scene with the investigation how Elijah Brooks is being remembered tonight. Kelly, such a sad story. Yes, it is definitely a sad story. And as you mentioned, we are here at the intersection where that fatal crash happened and family members will gather here later tonight around 630 for a vigil to pay tribute to their loved one. Now, eyewitnesses and family members that I talk with tonight say that they are just hoping that the driver responsible turns himself in. Family members say 42 year old Elijah Brooks from St. Louis was the father of five and owned his own landscaping company. What started out as a nice evening to get dinner turned into much more. I know they felt this man body up under his car, drag him on the ground. <laughs> All he do is walk across the street, getting him some food, something to eat. The accident happened at the intersection of Goodfellow and Natural Bridge in North St. Louis Tuesday night around 8 p.m. Investigators say Brooks only lived about five minutes away from the crash site. Family members gathered today to comfort one another about the tragic news. Considered that this man had a family. And considering that you ran the red light, you wasn't even worried about yourself. What if this was you underneath this car? What if this was you hitting somebody else and you didn't make it? This is a two-way street. Nobody was safe. And to think that you didn't think about nobody but yourself and not even stop and see what's going on. Witnesses who were on the scene say Brooks was at the crossing when a car came speeding south on Goodfellow, ran a red light and hit him, dragging him about 50 yards. Somebody came across the light and just hit them and I guess they were gonna keep going and they just drug them. Family members have a strong message for the driver responsible. Just bring them justice. It's not hard to just go in there. And it was an accident, that's all it was. You was going too fast, you ran a red light. You didn't intentionally, I hope not to hit them. So just turn yourself in. of a red light camera here at the intersection. We have just confirmed with St. Louis City Police that there are three red light cameras at this intersection. However, they were not working at the time of the crash. And now that is sad news for the family because they were hoping that those red light cameras were on and would help police in their investigation. Now, I also talked with Brooks' mother and she says that he did not have insurance. So they have set up a GoFundMe account to try and bury their loved one. We will have that information on our website. Also, police continue to urge anyone with information about the crash to come forward. Live in North St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.